They can't go to the club because he's a preacher, man. But he can walk by the club, but he can't go inside the club. <laughs> and the young girls, 18-year-old women, see my dad that self be falling out because he the latest, man. I know y'all 18-year-old and 20-year-old women, 21-year-old women want to be with the latest, man. And then how I'm 39, he's 7 years old, and y'all want us to pray them around in front of y'all boyfriends. And even the girls on the Jersey Shore type of girls, they all want us. All the women want us that. Do you think my age, being 70 years old, mm -hmm may present a barrier? No, well, the only reason is, is this. Women say you got some long eyelashes. Oh. When you blink at them, they pass out, so I don't know. Oh, OK. Well. Like my one girl, I can't say her name on yes. TV. Mm -hmm. One girlfriend, she said, you're that very attractive for an older man. For an older man? Okay. And, that, and women, they, they want you and me because we look better than all the men they know how. Oh, OK. Every year, we look better. Now, man, don't be mad because we look better than y'all and y'all women want us. It's just like this. Somebody got to be the soap opera in this movie, and we the soap opera. And the ladies want us. So, ladies, you got to shop with us, but you got to have some money. If you don't got no money, you got to have potential. You got to be able to show us that you're going to make money by going to college and do something with yourself. That's true. That's true. Don't be having bed bugs all the time I see you because I get tired of that. You got to have some money, you got to have a nice car. You got to have that, then you got to have the qualification to be with the ladies, man. Now, 18-year-old girls, you better go to school, get a degree. But if you ain't got a degree, borrow money from your mama because she, she want to get with the ladies, man, anyway. But right now, if you want to be praying right now, you got to have more of the milk cookies. You got to have something going for you. Because we the ladies, man, that they know how. Well, that's very true, David. Mm -hmm. David, I greatly appreciate this get-together that we have each week. Mm -hmm discussing the very important topics that many people are discussing. Mm -hmm. And we're just putting our input into, you might say, the pot, so, and we'll stir it around, and mm -hmm. perhaps someone can get something from our little discourse and how well, uh, our talk, and so forth. That's right. These are jokes, ladies. <clears throat> yeah, they're they're all jokes. They're all jokes. I, don't, I know y'all. Y'all think it's funny. We are funny guys. Sometimes I laugh all jokes myself. But it ain't funny when I tell my girlfriend. She listened to the whole show, Kathy. She watched the show. Mm -hmm. I said, I like the show. She don't think it's funny. She said, I hear about you and your ladies. So I said, what? <laughs> You actually t talking to those girls on the show. Nah, we just entertain ladies. We don't. We true to a woman. Yeah, that's true. That's we true. know. We just, we just uh, entertain us. That's you right. You know what I'm saying? If we found the right mate, the right woman, we'd be true to her. We would be true to her. To her and her only. Only she, but she got to have a good come because the economy bad. She got to make more money than my dad, more money than me. That's true. And she got to be very feminine. Very feminine, very feminine. It looks like Holly Berry, because we tired of looking at Grace Jones type of women. I done had them all the time. I was on the floor for a while. I, I, all of a sudden, I thought this was my curse. You know, when you broke and you ain't got no insurance, you go to the dentist, they look at you like you cancer. They do? Mm-hmm. No kidding. Uh, do you bad? What kind of insurance you got? I said I had no insurance. All of a sudden, the room get quiet. You almost about ready to get walked out the door. They ain't even secured. Is the nurse about to walk you out? That's amazing. But when the money goes, the love, love goes. Love goes. And friendship goes. Friendship goes. That's what I've been told. Mm -hmm. But thank God, God bless us with the looks. And the women want to be seen with us and pay for the latest man to date know how. Holla Barry. I think a phone ringing, so you should get a phone call by her after she see the show. Okay. Me, I should get a phone call from Janet Jackson. Mm -hmm. So we, well, I would have Kiko Dash's mother. Cause she about to leave Bruce. I see she the one making the real money. She 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 yeah. she's uh managing the girls. I want a woman. And she looks attractive yeah. too. She has no gray hair. She in her sixties. She? Yeah, that's <laughs> right. And not a gray hair in her in her hair. Not a gray hair. Not one gray hair. So that's gonna be a wedding today, now. I'm getting married to Mrs. Uh, Kardashian, and Dad gonna be married to Kim Kardashian. And you're invited to the wedding because we're gonna put it on TV because they're all the weddings of. Invited. Kanye West, I'm sorry, but you you just out the ball. But they're going to marry Kim Kardashian. I'm going to marry her mama. Uh, and we're going to have a date. Well, the it's show. between Kim Kardashian and Holly Berry. Holly Berry. So one of the two, he's going to marry. But, uh, and they're going to pay for everything. 
Well, that would be nice. That would be nice. Well, David, I've enjoyed this little talk we've had, and uh, what do you say we do it again next week? Sounds good. Sounds like a winner. And so, until we meet again, may God bless you and your family. We are. We just take. We're uh, just taping uh, Baba coming to Dayton, Ohio. We hope you enjoy the show. Make sure you vote. Every vote count. If you got to, go to the polls. We're going to vote. Make sure you vote for who you feel will be the best president campaign for the campaign. Every vote count. What do you feel about that? Uh, well, I believe that you should not think that your vote doesn't count. It does count, especially in a close election like this election for the president and uh, vice president of the United States. So whatever you do, make sure you get out and vote. Your vote does make a difference. Go out and vote. If you need me, I'll hold your hand if you need to go out and vote. Take the kids out and vote. Take everybody. Take your grandma. Take everybody. Go out and vote. Every vote count. The future depends on you and only you. Your vote might be the number one vote to count. I'm going to vote. Everybody in America vote. You going to vote? I'm going to exercise my right to vote. Vote. Voting is the way. Because if you don't vote, nothing's going to change. Amen to that. And it can get better. It's already good now, but it can get better. Vote is very critical. We need all of us together to vote. You can make a difference. Make sure you vote. Vote.
I, I, I recognize that some of, I, we must have some doctors in the house. Because I've already heard people identify this condition. It's called Romnesia. But, but, and, 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 and we had a, a severe case breaking out last night. So, so I want to go over the symptoms with you. Cause, cause they not, I, I sure don't want anybody to catch it here in Ohio. If you talk about how much you love teachers during a debate, but just a few weeks ago you said we shouldn't hire anymore because it won't grow our economy, you might have amnesia. If you say you won't give a big tax cut to the wealthy, but you're on a video promising your tax cut would include the top 1%, that sounds like a classic case of amnesia. If you say that you love American cars during the debate, you're a car guy, but you wrote an article titled, Let Detroit Go Bankrupt, you definitely have a case of amnesia.